If you're looking for a simple teleprompter to use with your laptop or desktop computer, I've got a solution for you. It's the new Little Prompter by Glidegear, and I'm using it right now to record this video. Let me show you how it works along with the pros and the cons so that you can determine if it's right for you. I've used similar teleprompters that mount to your computer screen, including one from Glide Gear that was discontinued and they were all more complicated. You had to adjust the mirrors and try to get it all right. And the image wasn't very bright. This one is simple. You just put it over your built-in webcam and it projects a part of your screen onto a one-way mirror in front of your webcam. You may see the little green light through the glass or possibly a bit of the top of your actual computer screen, but otherwise it looks like a regular screen, maybe just a bit less bright. Depending on your computer, you may need to do some adjusting the first time, but you can keep the settings the same for the next time that you use it. I'll talk more about that later in this video. I use it for two purposes. First is as a teleprompter with my script running in front of the camera so that you cannot tell that I'm reading. I like to use the software SpeakFlow to scroll the text, but you could simply use a Word document that you manually scroll with your mouse. The second purpose, which is really powerful, is for Zoom or Teams video calls. I can put the other person's image on the part of the screen that is projected in front of the lens. I just adjust their image so that their eyes are close to the camera. This allows me to look the other person in their eyes naturally. Normally with Zoom, you either don't look like you're making eye contact or you need to cheat by looking at your webcam, which looks great to the other person, but then you aren't seeing their reaction to what you're saying. And all of that leads to Zoom fatigue. Using something like the little prompter solves that fatigue too. I have a teleprompter set up on my desktop that costs around $700. It's more complex and it takes up a lot of desk space. The image is bigger than the little prompter, but bigger images aren't necessarily better when it comes to reading a teleprompter. If the text is too wide, then the viewer will be able to see your eyes move. The image on the $700 setup is also brighter, something to consider if that's important to you. And this is typically more important for video calls than it is for reading scripts. Also, the setup on my desk is really flexible. I can use an external webcam, an iPhone, or even a DSLR as the camera. The only thing I cannot use is a computer's built-in webcam. And I can also adjust the height of the camera so that it's behind someone's eyes, even when their eyes are near the top of the screen. With the little prompter, when using Zoom, I need to move the person down so that their eyes are in the middle of the teleprompter screen. Another downfall of the little prompter is that you can only use it with built-in webcams. You cannot use it with an external webcam. That shouldn't be too much of a problem with a laptop, but some desktop monitors don't have built-in webcams. Now, if you're MacGyver, you should be able to figure out a way to make this work, but it doesn't come working out of the box. I also noticed that I wasn't able to adjust it perfectly for my iMac. The camera always sees a tiny bit of the teleprompter along the bottom. A good MacGyver could fix that too, or just as I did for most of this video, I just zoomed in a couple of percent in my editing software. But let's go back to the pros. When you're ready to use it, you just hook it on top of your monitor, lining it up with your webcam, then adjusting the image to fit into the space covered by this device. You can even set up additional documents alongside so you can easily reference those without looking too far off screen. For my laptop computer, I use the little screws to find the perfect height for this to sit above the top edge of my laptop screen. Without the screws, the camera was cut off in the corners. When you're done with the little prompter, you can just take it off and set it aside. You can use the screws to securely mount it or to adjust it, but gravity holds it in place just fine on my iMac. I've tried lots of different teleprompter options, and this is a great one, especially if you're just reading text. It's a bit more clunky using it for video calls, but you'll need to determine if that bit of extra ease of use is worth the cost and the desktop real estate. On the pro side, it's very affordable, easy to use, and doesn't take up any extra desk space. On the con side, it is a little bit dim, you cannot use it with an external webcam out of the box, and it's not very adjustable to fit your individual situation. But I can highly recommend it. There will be a link below to purchase, and of course, if you have any questions for me, put those down in the comments.